guide dogs need to go through rigorous training to learn how to stay on task. And the airport, which we all know is full of distractions, is a great place to teach a pup how to focus. CBS 8's Abby Black tracked their steps through the San Diego International Airport for their critical training. Inside Terminal 2 at the San Diego International Airport, it's pretty busy for a Monday morning, but it's the perfect environment for puppies like Taffy from Guide Dogs of America to get their training on how to go through an airport. Hi, Mom, I'm on TV. These cute little pups have an important job today. She's learning a lot about the sounds and being comfortable with everybody walking around her. That's a good girl. Raven, who's an 11 month old black lab, is patiently waiting in the TSA line during her training on how to navigate an airport. Hopefully you can see that Raven is very focused on me um, and I'm rewarding her for that um, because she's not paying attention to all these other dogs around. She's not paying attention to the cars driving by, the planes driving over. Raven and the other pups are part of Guide Dogs of America, Tender Living Canines, a volunteer organization that trains puppies starting at eight weeks old. They're learning to help people who are visually impaired, military veterans with PTSD, and children with autism. Some will work as therapy dogs at hospitals, schools, or courtrooms. This is a free service with free vet care. They have to be 100% focused 100% of the time. It's good for us to expose the puppies to the distractions now uh, so that it's not a completely new environment once they're working and their partner's life is in the balance. The airport can be chaotic. Luggage and parcels must be attended at all times. There are smells <laughs> and crowds. All of this can be overwhelming for a dog and their partner. She listened though the entire time. She did cues. It's just a lot to take in. Taffy and the other dogs walked over the jetway and boarded a plane. Excited. Taffy learned how to guide her partner into a seat. Let's go. Guide dogs may take a special pup, but the organization says it also takes a special volunteer, which they are in need of right now. It's a dream position for, for me because that's just what I love. This training is critical for guide dogs early on, so when they graduate, they can focus on specific cues to become trusted companions that increase their partner's confidence, mobility, and independence. Now she's ready for a nap. Right, Taffy? Are you tired? To learn more on volunteering for Guide Dogs of America, go to cbs8.com and click on the help button. Some great training there. Thanks so much, Abby.